there's an app called like my anime list i just throw it in there just so i don't forget sometimes yeah, i know i know people with over 600 shows on their list on that site they periodically they periodically go, they periodically go through and cleanse it out some like 30 at a time <laughs> <laughs> that's excessive yeah, I, I, a lot. When in co- when I was in college, there was a kid who everyone he watched some anime, and everyone would give him a recommendation, and whether he looked it up or not, he put it on his list. And then once a week, he'd go there. He's like, "All right, let me take, let me look into like ten of these. Uh, I'm not interested. Uh, that's it's got bad reviews." And he just cycled through. But he's not the one I know with over six hundred. I know people, I know people that had over eight hundred in college. That like, yeah, I plan to watch them all. It's like, all right, so at what point do you plan to grow up and do math? <laughs> you still have to beat the like tutorial prologue (laughs) yeah damn for breath of the wild yeah, Matt. Matt watched me seven. Matt watched me die seventeen times trying to get the hang glider. Um, it was so funny. <laughs> I haven't tried since. <laughs> and I didn't make it off that plateau. There's oh, more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, 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 as, be... as far as my character knows in the game, Ganon doesn't even exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just woke up from a long nap. Yeah. I will say the new game is actually uh, different and entertaining, but also quite annoying because all the weapons are rusted. Yeah, I don't like that. So you have to restore them, or you just break them and like, all right, next. You gotta craft them. Mm. So like, you you find like items from different uh, creatures, and then you just craft it to a sword and it becomes a different sword and you use that to fight your uh, opponents. Yo. Gotcha. Yeah, I can see how that gets annoying. Yeah, they doubled down yeah. on the weapon destruction. If you didn't like that in the first game, then it's worse in the second game. <laughs> if you didn't like it, well, boy, get ready for game 2.0. <laughs> we took your feedback and we made some changes. It's still game of the year. Yeah, it's been a crazy year. I can't even I can't even remember everything that came out. There's still several games from this year that I won, but I'll just have to wait to do that. Which yeah. games in particular? Well like um let's see, there's like Super Mario Wonder, um Armored Core Six, Final Fantasy Sixteen. Um, I know I'm missing a lot. Apparently the Phantom Liberty for Cyberpunk's like actually really good. Uh, I know I'm forgetting a whole bunch right now, but I mean, it, I guess it's a good problem. But there was just like so much content dropped this year, like shows and games. That is true. That's been a pretty good year. I guess they just caught up after uh, COVID. Yeah, you went from having like nothing. Speaking. To Speaking of catching up, hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of the Unfiltered Pineapple Podcast. This is your boy, Brandon, Orc, and Platypus today, talking all about our nerd fandom stuff. Thanks for joining. So good. good. Sorry to interrupt that. So what other games were you looking at, Platypus? I actually haven't played any of the games of the year this year. 2023 version. Damn. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff that came out. Um, what was another? Oh, yeah, Alan Wake 2. You've only heard good things about that, but haven't tried it yet. New um, Spider-Man game, I heard. They dropped yeah, the new Star Wars yeah. game. Yeah, uh, what the, else did they drop? The new Mortal Kombat. That game is fun, but I dropped it really fast. I don't know why. I just didn't get back into it. It's a similar issue. I mean, I like it. Well, I don't know. Nether Realm pretty much always makes a good fighting game. Like they know what they're doing. But I just fell out of MK1. I mean, I need to play it more. Like there's nothing wrong with it, really. 
Yeah, I agree. I just, I don't know. I thought all of it probably didn't have a group of people to play against or didn't feel like grinding online and trying to win King of the Hill every day. Something like that. I'm interested to see uh, the play Omni Man and uh, Peacekeeper, though. That should be some <laughs> fun. Same. And oh, is, that, is, is that the anime fighting game? I forget what it's called. I, I see the ads for it. I've, I've yet to look at it. No, this isn't Jump yeah. Force. This is this more combat. More combat will. Uh, I oh, like Mortal, some Kombat, guest DLCs. Mortal Kombat added on me, man. Yep. Yes, they do, they do, they do guest uh, appearances at times. And those are the yeah, big I re- ones. I remember that from past games. They've had like Freddy Krueger and stuff. Jason, <laughs> yeah. Alien. Crazy. Yeah. Days. Am I wrong? Oh, yeah, was it Freddy Krueger in one? <laughs> yeah, he was. Okay, good. I thought I was. I remember playing him. Not... Hmm. Yeah. No, I haven't been able to play many of the games this year because I've been, as as I previously mentioned, I've just been watching other anime. I've used this year as like the catch-up anime for things that I keep up with a few new things, but mostly catch up on a lot of older things, a lot of older shows. But you have like what exactly orc? <laughs> I finally finished Hunter Hunter. <laughs> it is a good series. Any other but... ones that you got? Well, just to clarify, I started Hunter Hunt. I rewatched Hunter Hunter last year, and I finished it about two months ago. Slowly, you know, a few episodes a week, kind of a thing. Because when I originally watched the 2011 version, I finished with eight episodes unwatched. So to rewatch those, or to watch the new ones, I rewatched everything so I could understand how I got there. Um, other than that, I the one of the new ones I've been keeping up with was season two of Jujutsu Kaisen, and earlier this year I watched Blue Lock, the soccer anime. Uh, at the time the World Cup was going on, it was hysterical. <laughs> that series is uh, really good for a sports uh, anime for sure. Is isn't season Top two tier. supposed to come out next year? Uh, yes, I believe. I, I, I'm hoping so too. I think it is supposed to come out though. I think if I'm if I'm not. Uh, incorrect. I think also they're bringing back uh, Konosuba next year. So I kept up with yeah, those I'm... new. I kept up with those new ones, and then as an older one, another older one that I was keeping up with or catching up on was uh, Yomamushi Pedal, the cycling anime. Um, I like to have one sports anime rolling in the background that I watch periodically. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I watch a few uh sports animes myself. Oh, uh, I did rewatch I Show Twenty One, but I would not suggest anybody watching that. That was just something I wanted to rewatch. But it's, I don't it's even know what that was. In, Me neither. It's lit. It's literally the football anime one. <laughs> but oh, it's not you know really what? Good. I saw that. <laughs> I saw it's the, not really saw good though. Episode. It's not really good though. It, it it's good but not good. It's so old. It's like dated. Um, let's see. What have I watched recently? I, I'm watching JJK now. Uh, Shield Hero season three. I haven't caught up on just yet. I know that released uh this month. Let's see what else. Jobless reincarnate. Really good. Finish that. Um, that was on, that was on my the... watch list. I I saw some good reviews. I've heard from other people that they enjoyed it. So I, I want to watch it. I just I'm keeping up with other stuff. Limited time, you know, priorities. I just haven't gotten around to that one yet. The jobless one. Yeah, it's it's definitely a world building one, and it's also one of those things of like, uh, becoming an adult and manning up type thing for a young man. Is the, it one of those that? Of- Sorry to interrupt. Is it one of those where you got to watch a couple episodes at a time to really keep into it, or is it one where you watch once a week? It's like, eh, you know, I can remember where it left off. You can watch once a week. It's it's a casual watch because, like, like I said, it's a world building thing, but it's also yeah. isekai. So I know a lot of weaves don't really like isekais nowadays because it's so flooded into the industry. But this one's good. The premise <laughs> of it. That's so true. Some, there's somebody's a, there's like a 30... push against isekais. <laughs> There is, but uh, the the concept is the dude's like 33 years old, uh, dies, gets reincarnated as a baby, and then he learns how to use magic, and he fights his past traumas from the, his uh, life in Earth onto this world, and it's pretty cool. Gotcha. Like, uh, at this point now, I think he's like in his teens, 
And he, there's a lot of like world discoveries and different swordsman styles, magic, different creatures. He goes across different continents, stuff like that. I, I think it'd be a good watch if you're interested in that. Oh, you know what? I just remembered why I couldn't remember what other else I've watched. I was watching a lot of stuff on Netflix this year, like Baki and other fighting animes. So that's where my anime time has been spent before those things get taken down or removed or whatever. Did you finish Baki yet? So I have a tendency to finish with a couple episodes left, and I've got the last two episodes to go. <laughs> You're so I'm, just trying, I'm just trying to find. I'm just trying to find a time to sit down, zone everything. I'm like, I just want to be absorbed in this. I just want to sit, watch, and leave it at that. Yeah, Baki, Baki was pretty good. I, not, I won't spoil so it. So far, I so far, I'm, I'm not excited about how the ending is going so far. Um, with two episodes left, I like it has potential. It's just not the pace I was hoping for. It's not over yet in the manga. The manga's no, still No, I know the on. manga's, yeah. So that's the other hesitation I have is like, I know the manga continues. So is this a Game of Thrones situation where they make their own ending? <laughs> no, no. I think they're going to continue on it. If you, if okay. you watch it through it, it, it's not like... It makes, it room... makes sense. Yeah, it's open. Um... Mm hmm what about you, uh, Sir Platypus? What have you been watching? Uh, let me see. I haven't seen as much as y'all have. Um, I did watch Blue Lock, which I don't really watch sports anime or sports anything, but I had a really good time watching that. I was surprised. That was um, so funny. I, I love the yellow hair guy and the orange. I forget their names right now off the top of my head, but the two other main characters, the yellow haired and the orange haired one, they were my favorites. Uh, one of them looked like Ichigo, and yeah, <laughs> one of them looked like Bleach mom. reincarnate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah, that's a good show. Um, I finished Attack on Titan. Um, I think it'd probably be best to just avoid spoilers on the ending. Uh, still watching JJK. I have like a few episodes to go before I uh, actually finish season two, but dude, season two got like. There's a lot that happened. It got serious. Um, dude, what else? I watched Cyberpunk Edge Runners again because why not? That's like a top five for me. Shit's great every time. I saw. I think we already talked about Chainsaw Man. Um, I just heard that there's a movie for that, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and I've been chipping away at Hunter Hunter, but. I haven't gotten that far yet. It's still in that tournament arc where I think they're just trying to show how badass Gone and Skater Boy are because it's just like a compilation of them pushing or chopping everyone into oblivion in like five seconds. But oh, the heavens they... Ocarina. Yeah, him. The assassin skater boy. Were they Killua? Oh, Killua? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, him. AKA Killua. Sasuke. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else have I watched? That's uh, have you guys seen Spy Family yet? No. I think you would. You might like that one. Uh, so the premise of that one is there's a spy. He's trying to infiltrate uh to the west. It's kind of like a World War II type of vibe, and he's trying to infiltrate and talk to this one guy and get in with him, but the only way he can is having a family. He's single, so he has to adopt a child and then find a mother. And the child ends up, ends up being a, um, what's it called when you have the power, you can read people's minds? Telepathy? Is that yeah. it? So she has telepathy, and then the mother ends up being an assassin. So you have a spy, a uh, little girl that has telepathy, and an assassin. And then the story goes off from there. It's pretty interesting. There's some crazy scenes in it. I, I would suggest you watching that as well. Also, probably the best match of tennis ever. Okay. Wait, is this more of a comedy or is it like a serious type of show? I would say it's comedic. It's more slice of life, but it has serious underlines around it. I haven't watched the most uh, recent episodes on it, so I can't tell you if it's gotten any more serious, but for now, it's been kind of lighthearted at most. Like, Sometimes you'll see him try like sneak in there and then make sure her grades are good, stuff like that. Gotcha. Or other times, like 
other times she uh people get captured and they gotta save them hmm. stuff like that it hasn't gotten like serious yet gotcha uh i think another one is goblin slayer season two i don't know if you watched the first goblin slayer no, that I came out too I mean, if you if you want to avoid the first episode, you're welcome to if you like. <laughs> rough opening. <laughs> um, beyond rough. In, inter, pretty... International controversy opening. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. If you watch the first episode, just let us know. <laughs> I'm curious to hear your reaction on that one. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll have to do that. I'm a little worried now, but. You should take yeah. a side without watching it. Just jump in and take a side and reactivate the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the anime is right. That's the right way to do it. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the anime is right. That's if it's based off the book. That's what the book is. It's just like what, um. But you get what I'm saying, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying. Just <laughs> just go in there blind and just cause controversy. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, the other fighting anime I watched on Netflix this year was more Kenga Nishira. Um, still making my way through that one, about halfway through the new season. But uh, I like it. It's the kind of tournament arc where they actually take the time to show each character One Piece and Bleach style backstory, all that kind of stuff. And they just kind of keep it going, keep it moving along. It doesn't slow down. A lot of action, a lot of controversy. Yeah, I've seen but... that one. That one's... Um... <laughs> I enjoy it. It's the kind of tournament arc I enjoy. Yeah, that one's solid. Good question. But you do you do have to get past the animation style. If you can handle that kind of three D animation, you can enjoy it. But it take it took a good like five six episodes of season one before it's like, all right, I can do this. I just kept pushing through. Hmm. Was your question? Do y'all watch live action anime? No. Me neither. I, I, I've heard a lot of good things about the One Piece live action. And I just seen recently they've done what Yu Yu Hakusho's shows live action now. And exactly. I think they did a Cowboy Bebop. So <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I will give um was it Avatar Last Airbender a chance to see how that goes. One more chance besides that terrible movie. Um Yeah. But yeah. Um, I don't really watch him. Same. I, I, I'm still pretty against live action anime. I've heard people say that the One Piece version is really good, but I mean, I'll get hate for it. But fuck yeah, One Piece. So I don't really have any like motivation to give the live action a shot. But I've heard that the Yu Yu Hakusho one is at least decent. But I don't know. I'd, I'm still of the opinion that carrying over, carrying things over from anime just doesn't translate to in real life stuff very well. But maybe, yeah. I'll, maybe I'll check it out. I'm of the same opinion. I don't, even though I enjoy One Piece, probably my favorite anime. I don't, I don't have any intention to watch the live actions. I'm not that diehard of like, oh, let's rewatch the original. But with a worse variation is my mindset. Yeah, I just like I know the main character is stretchy, and I don't know. There's almost no way that that would look good, or maybe it does because everyone's saying that the live action's amazing. But I think I'm gonna have to miss that one. Speaking about One Piece, uh, they are doing a remake on East Blue. If you didn't know Orc, they're redoing it. And yeah, isn't that what they're redoing it. the live action for? Isn't no, they're, they're doing an act they're redoing the anime entirely. And oh, it's to going make on, it like uh, the Netflix. modern for like the modern animation style. Is that what you're getting at? Yes, and they're fixing the pacing. So it should be like 30 episodes for East Blue. How many was it originally? I know I literally so the other thing I did this year and last year was start rewatching the original One Piece because I was up with the new stuff, but I couldn't remember a lot of the old stuff because I watched that when I was you know 15 years, 10, 15 years ago, back when it was on Toonami. So, <laughs> so I rewatched it not too long ago, but I forgot how many episodes it was. Was East Blue uh, like 14 episodes? It was pretty quick, wasn't it? 
I'm not exactly sure. I think from what they said that they haven't really given out any context towards it. I'm not exactly sure. I have to I might have to jump out to actually look in that. But actually let I think me restate was, let me restate that. I think if, if, if go ahead. I think East was a lot longer than that. Like if it's going to Arlon, then yeah, that I, I shouldn't take that long. But I think it's I think they're condensing a lot of it. Just because a lot of uh One Piece is filler. Like I rewatched, I caught up with the series just to see the whole big scene. If I don't know if uh, Platypus cares or not, but his nope. big reveal for uh, do, where are you at? Or before I say anything else, uh, I'm still at the Big Mama arc. I didn't want to watch Wano until it was done because it was dragging on too long. So I was just gonna power through that over a month. Yeah, yeah, Wano's done officially now. Oh, I know, um, but I haven't taken. I told you I want to power through it over a month, so I haven't just t- found a month where I can just sit down and after work every day just go through and you know five episodes a day. You, I've heard some spoilers. Yeah, well, You're not going to ruin too much. You're not going to ruin too much. So you know his new change, like his new yeah. level of ability. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know what yeah, it's called. So I've I re- seen the I... images. I've seen that stuff. Yeah. So I watched the episode where it happens. And when I tell you, they literally like milked it for like three or four episodes of just him <laughs> changing or being strong. I was so annoyed. I was like, I'm so glad I read instead of watching like, this. Like Dra- Dragon Ball Z style, <laughs> leveling it's, up for three just, episodes. <laughs> it's by it's by the same people, so surprisingly, yeah. It, it, but it's that annoying. I was like, wow, if you're if you watch the anime, you're a real fan of One Piece, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. No, I, I, I didn't hear about that, but I, I heard that it took a long time. So that just actually makes me laugh. <laughs> well, Wano is like the longest arc. I think it's like almost 200 episodes. It took over three years. So it's got to be. I mean, it's at least 150 episodes because that's a, you know an episode a week. Well, I think the manga itself took like four years, so I'm not surprised actually. No, the manga it, took four years to do. It's, so it's easily 150 episodes. I think it's around 220, but I haven't looked that up. Good lord. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's just an arc. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's an arc. <laughs> and I'm at the arc right before it because I saw how long Wano was going. Is like I don't plan to catch up. I don't want to keep up. I just want to. One one thing about One Piece for me is I don't keep up with it week after week. I'm one of those people where I watch it an arc at a time, absorb it, and then go back in for the next arc when I'm ready. So yeah, that's I just the way, that, this... that's just the way I like One Piece because it, it's got a lot of filler. I don't want to wait week after week for all the filler. There is a uh, thing called One Piece, so you could go. <laughs> the website is like fan made, and they just like sped up the whole series, so. It just skips all the filler. <laughs> For anyone who wants to catch up Cliff Notes version. Well, it's not even Cliff Notes version. It's just like sometimes like if you watch Dragon Ball Z, which most anime fans have, you just a lot of powering up. They just skip all the powering up and just get to the one power up and then they start fighting. <laughs> <laughs> the moment they start screaming, there's a punch being thrown. All right, skip ahead. <laughs> But yeah, or, or if I were you, I would definitely uh, after Wano get really excited because it has I've heard, been. I've insane. heard what's next. I've heard what's next. I see. I keep up with the news about you know what's coming up next, the islands, all that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm not too worried about spoilers. It's just uh, I haven't sat down to watch it. It has it has been literally insane. It's probably the best One Piece has ever been. Honestly. I would hope I would hope they're in their prime. They're near the climax, quote unquote. They're at the end. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, they're like, not going to be there, but they're at the end. Like they said, Wano's peak is not even close. Like the ever since I left Wano, I feel like One Piece has gotten better. Yeah, Wano was supposed to from uh, I can't remember where I heard this, but from where I heard it, Wano was supposed to be like this. The what is it? The um the Marine Corps art. No, the kind of like that, but I can't remember the musical term for like the build up, the crescendo. No, uh, the build up to the climax. It's supposed to be like the start of it. Like this is where it all really picks up, and gets exciting and gets intense and gets you know really moves along slowly but moves along. 
Um, there's a musical term for that. I can't remember what it is. Where, like, where it's the accelerato something. Regardless, uh, Wano was supposed to be the intro, and it's supposed to just start peeking over the next couple islands before it calms down a little bit as it gets through the resolution. Yeah, it's definitely there. I'll put it that way. Um... Marine mm. Ford was fantastic. If we're talking about the older One Piece, I'm just going to say that real quick. The Marine Ford was a great way to end before a time skip. Well, it gave you a pinnacle to look at. Like, okay, this is what high-level combat is. It's not just uh, Luffy just muscling his way through. A lot of these people are just that strong that Luffy's barely surviving right now. And you thought Luffy was really strong, but he really isn't. He was just a big fish in a small pond. That's what I'm saying. It was a great way to end, like the, for lack of a better word, the old school style One Piece, and say, "All right, yeah, here's how the new world works, everybody. Get ready." So I feel like Wano was kind of like that introduction, like, "Hey, you know, here's your introduction into what's coming ahead." Wano, what the only good, the really good thing about Wano was at least all the Straw Hats actually got to uh, show their stuff out there, you know, actually fight. So that was like the difference between Marineford and. Wano, I guess you got to see the Straw Hats actually show out and show their strength. As, a, as a, their um, own 11-man crew, yeah. 10-man, 11-man crew. Okay. Yep. No, that's also... Yep. I, I will say, probably because I haven't seen them fight, I'm not a fan of Brook. I'm not a fan of Chopper. As much as they're good characters, I just don't like watching them. Um, not doing a hot take, just saying. Of the, star, of the Straw Hat crew... They're not really my favorites. They're at the bottom of that list. Why? You don't like the mascot and you don't like the musician? Again, as characters, they're fine. I just... it Probably because I watch it subbed, um, I really just can't get behind the constant whining from uh, Chopper. Like, when he gets... Like, I've seen his character arc. I've seen where he comes from, you know, his origin story and all that. He's got a nice story. I just don't like his current character. <laughs> I don't like the mascot. Um, I understand. <laughs> Brooke, Brooke is Brooke is very comedic. I do love that part about him. That's the only part about him I love. Um, I just, if I had, you know, if you had to rank the characters, he'd be on the bottom of the list of those Straw Hat crew. I just can't put him higher, no matter how much I try to get in. It's just some characters don't vibe with people. That's all it is. It's not, he's a bad character. He just doesn't vibe with me. I'll tell you doesn't vibe with me. It's Usopp, and I'll tell you why. He's also lower. Us he's he's under mid. <laughs> Usopp, I, like as the only black person on the Straw Hats, <laughs> he's probably the worst as far as like looking out for people or fighting for things. I, I I just don't like Usopp. Like the whole point, like I'm never forsake my captain, and then he goes around just saying, "Oh, yeah, Luffy's not my captain," or "Oh, yeah, we'll leave right now." I just don't like the coward aspect of. Usopp. He's probably the worst so far for me. Yeah, that's oh, well. he's a step above. I love his comedic elements that they use him for, but he's a step above Brook and Chopper for me. He's that third lowest person. <laughs> oh, but, I probably you guys. You guys' list has probably changed. If you were uh, meeting somebody for the first time, and you're like, "Hey, are you? If you want to watch anime, I'm gonna give you these." Shows to watch. What five shows would you give them? Uh, starting with uh, Sir Platypus. Um, shoot, I've done this before. Like, I, I just, I'd always say that, like, if you're not that familiar with or into anime, then Death Note's like a good jumping on point. I'd say that. Um, Samurai Champloo. Uh, I mean, maybe Dragon Ball Z, but, I mean, well, you know, as 90s babies grew up with, like, Toonami and stuff is, like, the intro to anime, and DBZ is, like, one of the first ones I got really into, so, I don't know. I, I don't exactly recommend watching all of it because of all the, like, screaming filler and all that stuff, but, I don't know, it's iconic. It would be good to at least, like familiarize yourself with that a bit um the last two maybe like full metal alchemist i would say brotherhood over the first version just because the 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 way the first one ends just straight up isn't good and the movies are cheeks uh 
might have to come back to be on number five. Well, maybe Cowboy Bebop, just because, I don't know, I feel like pretty much everyone has seen or heard about it. I'm ashamed and of you. I'm good. ashamed of you. You said Cowboy Bebop over Yu Yu Hakusho? I thought you were, I thought Yusuke was your man, man. He is, but I mean, don't get me wrong, <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho is awesome, but it's also longer than most of what I suggested, minus DBZ, but I would just say, like, you know, pick and choose parts of DBZ to watch. I think Yu Yu Hakusho is awesome, but it's like a hundred. It's like 112 episodes or something. 118, because I have to finish it. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, so, I mean, that's an awesome show. And I feel like if someone wasn't that into anime, they could probably get through it, but maybe not. But, no, like, that's one of my favorites. I would always recommend Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, it still slaps, and it's... I mean, that show's older than we are, but, yeah. One thing I'll add on to that real quick, though, is even if you recommend a long anime... You can just say, hey, you're just interested in anime. Watch season one. There you go. You got, you know, nice little intro hooks. Season one's solid. That's why I was recommending Yu Yu Hakusho for your question, Brandon. Um, if you just want to get someone into it and be like, this is how it works. This is how it looks. Yu Yu Hakusho is a good starting point for that. Um, the, the difficulty with listing a five anime someone should watch if they're new to anime is you also have to know what they're kind of looking for and not in the sense of like oh anything if they historically are you know i like dark shows or i have an interest in light-hearted slice of life that'll change the recommendations of course um if you're literally just talking anything i would just give people a variety pack and say yeah here's your long anime here's your dark anime here's your slice of life you know just pick pick and choose something of interest to you i guess I you yeah, I guess I get you that work. I'm just I'm just saying like uh uh kinda like what uh Mr. Platt puts it over there. Uh you just give like a variety just because then it's like I get to see where they want to go. Cause like like I said, Death Note is obviously a, a good pick too. But yeah, just just give out like a variety which you would just give generically. And I know some people are different, but if they like it, they'll jump back into it. So if I had to give five, I'd stick with a variety of between action adventure comedy all that stuff um i would pick yu yu Hakushu for action adventure nice 90s intro into anime i would pick psyche for comedy see what comedy and anime really looks like um i would actually pick uh, how do you pronounce it kaiji uh the gambling anime do you remember what i'm talking about uh is it the oh, chick one kaiji. where Kaiji Ultimate Survivor from like 2007 or something. I've never seen that one. I know about like the Kagakuri or whatever, the chick where she like gambles. No. I've never seen that one you're talking about. No, the new one with the gambling school, not as exciting to me. Like it's good, but it's not exciting as Kaiji the Ultimate Survivor. I watched that one about, I, I want to say like eight years ago. Um, I haven't watched it since, but it still sticks in my mind. It's a fantastic anime about, for lack of a better word, like the depths of human horror when it comes to gambling, putting your life on the line, and using humans for fun, just so that you can watch them. You know, oh, they're it's it's Squid Game before Squid Game. I'll leave it at that, but it's not Squid Game because <laughs> it's okay. an anime and it's you know it's it's a different world. You would like it a lot, uh, uh, Brandon. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I that was one thing I found on my own. And I just, like, you know what? Let's just check it out. And I watched, I think it was three seasons. I just watched it all over a few months. Uh, but that that's a good anime that shows you, like, how dark and how uh, analytical anime can get. Um, and the animation's fantastic, too. It's a good anime. It's a good anime. Um, so that was three, right? <laughs> yeah, I believe so. Uh, in terms of other stuff, between sports animes, this is where I'd have to ask them their interest. But if they're interested in, like, football, I'd recommend Blue Lock. That's a good way to, like, a new anime, new sports anime. And if we're talking just in general, like, if you're fine with any kind of an uh, sports anime, I'm going to have to mention a sumo. I got to look it up real quick. I can never remember the full name of it, but uh, it's a sumo anime. <laughs> you're not going to say Haiku? What, uh, haiku? haiku you? What's, hi what's Haiku? What's Haiku? 
the volleyball I've, one? I've never, I've never watched that. Never been interested. That one's really good too. It, I know it's good. I just, I'm not inter- I've never been into volleyball like that. Hinamaru Sumo. Hinamaru Sumo was for me like my iconic kind of uh, <laughs> sports anime. Just between comedic and like, oh, we can do it. Attitude. It was just great. It was fantastic. Um, a group of beat me up, run me down. So they're like, yeah, we can do this. Uh, so that would be my recommendation for a sports anime to touch that kind of field. So between your action adventure, your dark, your long, your short, your um, sports anime. The last thing I'd probably recommend. Um, come back to me. I'm going to sort through a couple options real quick. Okay. Um, then I'll give mine. I always uh, tell people off rip Death Note or Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter, the long action, because I, I like how that story progresses from, like we've said multiple times, well, what you said in the beginning of this, it's just, it's really nice and then fun and it just gets really dark. And I think that's just a really good uh, story. It and keeps a fun attitude, Note, even in the, it keeps a fun attitude even through the dark times, so. though. Yeah, that's true. And then uh, Death Note's up there for me. I think just to get people's attention, I would say One Punch Man. I think that's just a very easy. Yeah, yeah, that's short. it. That'd be my fifth one, One Punch Man. You gotta. <laughs> oh, it's that's easy, so good. short action, and then everybody is it's it's quick. Um, let's see. Uh, for dark, uh, I'm trying to think. There's there's a few good ones. Uh, I like Clash from the Elite. That's a really underrated one, and. If you guys have a chance, I would suggest that for sure, because um, that's a good psychological one where all the Japan's best students go to the school and they're ranked against each other and they have to do all these challenges and it comes down to outsmarting who or using intimidation or any means to level up and get ahead in life. Um, that one's pretty good. And then I guess for my last one. Pokemon. Hmm. <laughs> boondocks <laughs> not the boondocks there not, you go <laughs> boondocks is an anime though it's technically it i know that's it. why i said it that's why i said it <laughs> <laughs> it's, that one is a good one i was just <laughs> see i like you and i want you <laughs> <laughs> now we can do this the easy way or the hard way the choice is yours <laughs> I-, I see you choosing yeah. the hard way Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a great series. I'm season four ruined it though. They should have they should have fixed that, but that was a good one too. Um for my last one, I don't know. Uh I've watched so much. Maybe a I sports anime, so maybe Kur on the Basket. Just another different ones besides the ones we've already said. I got two yeah. bonus ones, but as if y'all get stuck. Oh, uh, what's so, your what's your bonus ones? These ones are easy. Well, so Demon Slayer, just because of how simple the premise is, like the the story is not very original, but that makes it easier for like pretty much anyone to just jump in and follow. Like, even if they just started watching, like you were part through part way through a season. They'd still like it'd be super easy for them to know what's going on and get caught up to speed. And then it's still one of the best looking shows ever made. Like the animation is incredible. I mean, that's I think that's honestly a huge part of the draw for Demon Slayer is just how good looking it is. I feel like that would be easy for somebody new to get into. I'd suggest that. And then probably Cyberpunk, one, because I don't shut up about it, but. Two, I remember a conversation I had on a business trip with the wind engineer, and he brought it up on his own. And he was like, yeah, I don't even like anime, and I'm pretty against really violent things, but I finished that show in like a night. Like, it was amazing. And that conversation stuck with me. So I feel like that would also be a pretty good one for new people to jump into as well. I will. Says since you already said one punch man, Brandon. I was deciding mm-hmm. between I was deciding between um Assassination Classroom or Odd Taxi for my fifth, and I would actually pick Odd Taxi for people. That's probably a top ten anime for me ever. 
I really just enjoyed that whole style, pacing, soundtrack. All of it was just a very well-made anime. So I'd, I'd recommend that for people. And it's a short one, too. It's only 13 episodes or something. Hmm. Another one, just to bring in the level of edgy that I did not mention, is Kosuba. I still stand on it. Kosuba is one of the best uh, parody or satire type uh, animes there is. It's just, it's just funny. And I definitely say it's top tier. Uh, it's like Psyche, as as... yeah. <laughs> I had to choose yep. between Psyche and Kanesuba, and I chose Psyche just because I, I rewatch Psyche periodically and still laugh at the same parts. Well, that's also, it has no story behind it, really. You can just sit there and just watch it. Exactly. That's the good and for, thing about someone that who, for someone who's new to anime, that's a great way to get them introduced. Like, look, it's a five, ten minute story. You laugh, you move on to the next episode. Just quick, rapid fire humor. That's true. And then uh, a hot take to Sir Platypus. I wasn't a huge fan of uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, but I think that comes down to I just didn't play the game. So I just didn't like the ending too much. But it was cool. I mean, it was an interesting concept, but it just seemed like a guy going down a dark hole. And I think from what I heard, the, the game itself mentions him multiple times. So I guess that was also a big appeal for those that actually played the game. Um, I mean, to each his own. I never. I didn't really play the game. I didn't like it when it first came out, so I dropped it. But I always thought that the universe and the setting was really cool. So that's a large part of why I like it. And I'm I'm partial to cyberpunk like as a genre. I've just always thought that kind of stuff was really cool. I can respect it. Like I said, no, the, the animation was really good. I just, I didn't put it up there in a high level for me. Really good. Definitely not saying it's a bad uh, anime per se, but I wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, you should definitely go see this one. But then again, I think the colors and the animation and even the story might, and it's not even sub, makes it a lot easier for those first getting into it. So I can definitely see that. I'm still very curious. You haven't seen Kaiji Ultimate Survivor. What was the other one? You were t were you talking about something other than the gambling school, the uh the one with the what uh, what is it her name it starts with a K. Um, yeah, the Kakigiri. Uh, yeah, that's a Kakigiri. Were you talking about a different one? Because I thought you mentioned something else for gambling animes. I'm I'm interested. I was just curious. It's not it's not a gambling one. It's more of a psychological one. They do gambling at certain points, and they what also use different levels of uh intimidation. All that. Uh, Classroom of the Elite. Really good. Definitely Classroom suggest the... watching. Classroom of the, the elite. elite. Yes. Okay. I would definitely, I would definitely uh, suggest watching that. There's two seasons right now, and um, it's it's interesting. Like the first episode or so, like they give like all the students like an allowance, and um, they they pretty much they're like, oh, you get this every month, and then they're like, oh, cool, and they're just doing their own thing, and the next month ends up and they don't get any money, and they're like, well. You've been bad students, so you don't get the money. So now they're like struggling, fighting through it, grinding it, trying to get their grades up. Um, it, it's it's definitely a good series to watch. I'm interested. I'm a. It's not that I'm trying to find something better than Kaiji for a gambling anime, but I do want to find something on that level. And the the school one wasn't doing it for. I mean, it's still fun to watch uh, Kakigiri, but it's not the. It's not the type I was looking for or hoping for that Kaiji gave me because Kaiji's just pure game like the uh, just a little bit of a spoiler the first game they play is life or death rock paper scissors it gets intense fast <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty insane oh it's not, I, it's not your standard oh. like rock paper it's it's it, there's more mechanics to it so it's not like one loss and you're out but it's it gets straight into the action I got you um did you guys watch, did you ever get the ZOM 100, Dylan? I feel like that'd be something of your realm for sure. Isn't that a Netflix thing? No, they did a, um, so ZOM 100 was on. What is um, ZOM 100? I don't recognize that name at all. So they had it on Netflix, but there's also an anime on there. Anime's a lot better than the actual uh, live action movie. But the concept of it is this guy just ends up going into this company and gets overworked to death. And like he's like oh, hating life zombies? like at first. Yes, and then the world finally I've seen turns the commercials. I've seen commercials, yeah. I've seen the trailer on and Netflix. Then, 
then he then he makes a bucket list and uh he tries to complete his bucket list. Yeah, I that remember one, the trailer that for that. Good. Like he works forty eight hours straight his first two days in the job and then he's finally allowed to go home for an hour of sleep and then he's gotta be back at work. <laughs> yep, that that yep. He he does nothing else until the zombies happen and it's like the best thing ever to happen to him. I had an interest in that. I didn't know how good it was, so I haven't actually looked at it yet. But I was curious about it, just because the trailer was amusing. Yeah, it's definitely a watch. I definitely would give it a... I think it stopped because I think there was like a fire at the um studio. But I'm not sure if the series actually finished all the way through. So... That was, I think, I think it was like episode four or six that I watched last, mm-hmm. but they said that it stopped. I guess they stopped the continuation of it because of like a fire. Mm-hmm. But so I, I would I, definitely suggest that one. So I heard, and I don't know if it's ongoing, but I heard that for Jujutsu Kaisen that the studio was having, or the animators in the studio were revolting and leaving and up in arms, which is going to cause slowdowns or problems with the animations coming up. Is that still ongoing, or was that were those just rumors? A YouTuber I follow was just talking about that because he just released a random video gushing about season two of JJK. But then he was like, but I do want to talk about how MAPA employees have been talking about how horrible working conditions are there. And I really hope it changes soon. So I don't really know all the details, but that video got dropped like a couple of days ago. So it's got to still be ongoing. I think this has been happening from like, October. They've been talking about this since October. Yeah, whole, it's been a couple uh, months. That's why I was asking if it was ongoing still, because I heard about it a few months ago. And apparently it was supposed still to ongoing? impact the re- I heard it was supposed to impact the animation style and release of the episodes coming forward. Oh no. <laughs> Damn. I mean, they the quality hasn't dropped. Sure. The quality hasn't dropped so far. Um well, the, concern, exactly the sure. concern was that if I remember correctly, the concern was that they were being forced to meet deadlines with with less staff, so they're all being overworked and everything <laughs> because people were leaving, and the executives were like, "Nope, we're still airing it this time because of you know scheduling conflicts on TV and stuff. You got to commit or pay hefty fines and yada yada." Um, so it was just becoming overbearing on the animators themselves. That was too bad. Mm-hmm. So they're basically like the rock star games of the animation world. Well, anime, what I should say. From what I heard, that studio is, yeah. That's too bad. No, any, anything uh, MAPPA's done so far has been top tier. I think MAPPA did yeah. your, uh, did your uh, show for, uh, what was it, Cyberpunk? They did Cyberpunk too. No, that was, um, that was Trigger. Oh, you're right, it was. Yeah. Yeah, MAPPA. I don't know, they I do mean, a lot. They did... They do Attack on Titan, Chainsaw Man, JJK. They're going to do... Tuck your Avengers. Yeah, and then they're doing an anime that comes out next year I'm really excited about, but now I'm a little worried. But, yeah, I mean, they haven't missed yet, but it's a shame that it's coming from overworked employees. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. So, Brandon, I mentioned it. Have you watched Hinamaru Sumo? No, I haven't watched that one. That was, I think, 2020, 2021, somewhere around then. It was a couple years ago. Um, do you like sports animes? I tend to watch them on occasion. Uh, Cause I'm the see. same. I don't. I don't watch a lot of sports animes. I'm. I'm actually pretty picky. I don't just like, oh, football one. Let me watch. That's why I haven't watched uh what is it Slam Dunk or Prince of Tennis or any of those things. It's they just don't interest me right now. Um, Ooh, but, Prince of Tennis is a good one. That's part that's of my what I've heard. Right I, that's what I've heard. I've heard they're good. That's why I named them. But they just haven't interested me. And if I'm not interested, I don't want to spend time watching something that I'm not going to fully enjoy like I otherwise could if I was interested. You know, I, I want to give the anime the benefit of the doubt, but at the same time. I want to watch it when I'm fully immersed in it. I can appreciate it in its full glory. Uh, Hinamaru Sumo, I always enjoyed Sumo. So I walked into that like, oh, this is exciting. 
And by episode one, I was I was like, oh, this is my type of anime. For reference, the way the first episode starts off is uh, the guy, the main character, is trying to join a sumo club at his high school that he's joining. And it's only got one member who got kicked out of his sumo ring for a gang that's on campus. So to reclaim it, what he does is he goes to the, um, to reclaim it, what he does is he goes to the gang, the main character. And he's like, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to beat you in a fight without ever hitting you. And if you, <laughs> and if I what? win, yeah, he's like, I'm going to do sumo with you. I'll give you as much time as you want to push me out. And if I win, you can do whatever you want. Then we get this ring back. So the gang leader literally punches the guy in the face for five minutes straight. And then another five minutes. And the guy hasn't left the ring yet. He's like, all right, let me just push you out now and I'm going to win. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the person keeping track of time, they looked at him like, hey, has he been punching him for five minutes yet? Yeah, I even added five minutes to make sure. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so it just starts off with humor like that, which had me laughing. Um but the rest of the anime kind of it keeps that intensity of blue lock where you know oh i broke my arm but i'm gonna wrestle you anyways just kind of <laughs> my elbow touches the other my elbow touches the other elbow but by god i'm not getting pushed out this ring until you go out first <laughs> hey does uh does megalobox count as a sports anime yes it does uh, I've seen that was good season. that was enjoyable that, i saw that too yeah, I like that. I haven't seen season two though, but I need to. Just curious. I didn't want to derail your sumo thing. No, I'd recommend because uh, <laughs> I actually, you and I, and uh, Dean watched Castlevania Platypus. Remember, we watched uh, season two of that, or not season two? The the new one was. Nocturne, yes. Yeah. Um, Ooh, I have not watched that. Is that in, is that worth the watch? So real quick before we answer that, I was considering inviting you to watch Hinamaru Sumo or a sports anime with me, Platypus. Do that because <laughs> some of those are episodes where you just want to watch back to back. Um, but going to your question, Brandon, uh, yes, it is worthwhile. Right, and it's only one season so far, of course, because it just came out. Um, and as you can imagine, it's Castlevania, so there's a season two. Uh, they're not going to finish an entire story in 12 episodes. Um, I think it's worthwhile. Is it as up to par as the first original Castlevania? Don't know, because there is that, you know, this is new shock element, excitement element of Castlevania. You go into Nocturne and you go, oh, it's Castlevania. You got that kind of mentality to it, so it's not going to be as innovative. But it's still enjoyable. If you know what to expect with Castlevania, it's still enjoyable and worthwhile. In my opinion. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely have to give it the watch. Like I, like I said, there's so much to watch already. Uh, like Platypus said earlier, uh, there's just too many shows to watch. So it's really hard to get a list down and track it. Yeah. I, uh, I, t I typically do like, uh, there's an app called like My Anime List. I just throw it in there just so I don't forget yeah, sometimes. I know, I know people with over 600 shows on their list on that site. They Man, periodically, that's, they that's periodically, go, they periodically go through and cleanse it out some, like thirty at a time. <laughs> <laughs> that's excessive. Yeah, six hundred is a lot. When in co when I was in college, there was a kid who everyone he watched some anime, and everyone would give him a recommendation, and whether he looked it up or not, he put it on his list. And then once a week, he'd go there. He's like, "All right, let me take, a, let me look into like ten of these. Uh, I'm not interested. Uh, that's it's got bad reviews." And he just cycled through. But he's not the one I know with over six hundred. I know people, I know people that had over eight hundred in college. That like, yeah, I plan to watch them all. It's like, all right. So at what point do you plan to grow up and do math? <laughs> Man, that's <laughs> who knows. Maybe they will get through all eight hundred. You know, th this was. You know, eight years ago, maybe they already have. Maybe they get to have. Maybe they've yet to have a job and eat food, and they've. <laughs> <laughs> they just that's sustain crazy. themselves on anime. And that's not including the new stuff, obviously. That's just all all old stuff and recommendations. Oh man! Yeah, I have to drop some of it. <laughs> that's a, that's for sure. Platypus, uh, I, I probably interrupted you. What were your thoughts on Castlevania Nocturne? I liked it. Um. It's I'm pretty much in the same boat as you. Like I, 
it's good it's worth checking out but i think i still prefer the first one but i mean some of that could just be a more like used to and attached to those characters and everything but it's still good though i would definitely check it out i mean i'm interested to see where they go with nocturne into the future so i am glad it happened that's the one rick did correct um yeah yep well yeah with the blue trench coat thing and the headband yeah yep Oh, um, or also, if you're interested in other series to add to your list, uh, uh, Tomo Dachi game, that's another one to watch. What is that? Tomo Dachi game. It's another, uh, it's like a psychological, uh, series where people have to, like, uh, make bets or, like, oh, say a bad review about this person and then you, uh, can move ahead. And it's like apparently all people in the game that are playing have debts or other problems involved in it. They're all kind of like, I guess, squid gamed into it, where they're trying to go ahead. It's a it's a good watch. Tomodachi game. Tomodachi game. I'll type. I'll write that one down real quick. Hold on, so I can mm-hmm. look into it later. You can talk without me. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm just saying, like it's a, uh, uh, it's it's a pretty good series. You should definitely give it a watch. I don't want to like spoil anything on it. Uh, I'm looking through some of my list now to see if I can give any other recommendations. To, I will uh, say this isn't a recommendation unless you're really into anime. But have either of you seen how many dumbbells do you lift, bro? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weightlifting anime, um, and it's hysterical, but not for the reason. Like, if you look it up, you're going to be like, oh, this is a certain style of appeal to it. No, the reason I found it was because I saw, uh, I think it was like a Watch Mojo. <laughs> I saw some sort of list of top 10 arm wrestling scenes in anime. And that scene was in the anime. It was like ranked number five or something. I was like, I need to see how they got to this scene. So I watched the anime to get to that scene. And then I finished the anime because it's only like 13 episodes. It was funny. It was enjoyable. It wasn't. You know, it's nothing I'm going to say like this is top tier, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10. It's probably like a 7, 7.5 out of 10 anime. But it was still enjoyable. And the even though I'd already seen it, the arm wrestling scene was even funnier the second time when I knew how it got there. So I was happy. I got what I wanted out of that. Um, <laughs> Platypus, if I just showed you the arm wrestling scene, you'd be like, what or What just happened here? <laughs> um, piqued my interest i feel like i need to see it now i'll show you the scene later but it was it was hysterical i loved it i I immediately stopped watching that top 10 arm wrestling scene loaded up the first episode of the anime then went back to the youtube video to finish you know their list and then i started watching the anime it was that captivating to me (laughs) yeah forward me the link as well i'm interested in that the arm wrestling or the video or the anime well, the, I guess the arm wrestling clip to see if I'd yeah. be interested in watching the anime. Yeah. I wouldn't... It's not a bad anime. It's not for everyone, though. But I was committed. I was like, I don't care how boring or how slow this is. I want to get to that scene. Um, <laughs> I'll find it for you afterwards. Remind me. <laughs> Appreciate it. I have a question for you all. Do, do you watch um, Gundam? Like, any of them? Unfortunately not. I know it's a really uh deep series to get into. I actually almost got interested in trying to watch it because I looked it up on YouTube and there's like a a way of watching it to understand it better. But I haven't actually got into it. I know as like a kid, very iconic, very interested. Like they used to have the little chess game on Cartoon Network's uh game site or uh website. But yeah, I've never really got into it like that. Fair. I'm just curious. And I like Gundam. I think I've seen most of the shows at this point, but I wasn't sure if like which from Mercury was like good and worth getting into or not. I still need to watch that. I just I mean there's a lot of stuff to watch and I haven't gotten to it yet. I saw a few episodes like when I was falling asleep, but that's about it. I just wasn't sure if it was, you know, at least about as good as the other ones I've seen that I like. I just have to see for myself. 
as far as mechs go, the only ones I really got into was like Gurren Lagan or Gurren Lagan and uh Kogias. Kogias is also another good one to watch. I started that one. I don't know why I fell out of it. Should probably finish it. Lelouch. Yeah, the, the, yeah, Lelouch. The story switch. It's kind of a little older, kind of older realm series, but the switch ups are crazy. It's definitely a uh, no. It's, I guess it's a lesser version to Gundam's governmental issues because it's, it's the same concept. I think. Oh. Okay. I mean, I've heard good things. I should just try to finish it. Not trying to add to your uh, 600 list there, uh, Mr. Platypus, but uh, another good one is Bungo uh, Stray Dogs, or Bungo No Stray Dogs. That one's really good. Bungo I've, had, I've had that one recommended to me a lot, especially because I watched Kaiji. So For Bungo whatever... No Stray Dogs, is it's like a detective show. But it's like psychological. Well, I guess it's like supernatural. So people will try to figure out supernatural things, and a lot of people have different abilities. One of the main characters, he turns into a tiger. But it, it's it's really good. A lot of detective agency, a lot of thinking. Uh, a lot of characters are very entertaining. One of the characters that you meet, he's constantly trying to kill himself, but in a comedic way. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it, it, it's pretty good. I would definitely suggest that. Isn't there another is, anime called Log Horizon or something? Yes, Log Horizon. That's like another... Um, That's another one people sword recommend art. to me. Yeah. It's like Sword Art or Overlord, because those are one of those uh, stuck-in-the-game type games or uh, animes. I know our buddy... Uh, Matt, he he mentioned to me. I just didn't really get too deep into that one. Hey, uh, Platypus, do you remember Runny Kenshin? I didn't hear that. What was that? Did you do you ever uh ever see Runny Kenshin or Samurai oh, X? Man. I've seen parts of it. Um, I don't. I never formed like a strong opinion on it. Like it seemed cool, but I've only seen bits and pieces of it here and there. Like I'm sure it is cool. But I don't know a ton about it. I know it's a guy who used to be like a famous. Well, no, he is a famous swordsman, but he used to be evil or something, and now he tries not to kill people by like hitting people with the back of his sword instead of the bladed part or something like that. Or am I confusing anime? No, that's that's correct. It was it was on um Toonami, that's why I asked. But they, they recently have done like a remake on it. And it, it's been pretty good as far as that. Um the concept, the the guy that created it, uh he said it's kind of like a historical what do you say it's a historical uh action story kind of like. So it's based off like the time period after um the Meiji era. So it's pretty much taking place where they're actually getting people rights. So there's no longer like a samurai system. They have guns now and they're trying to build up the class systems out there for Japan because Japan's kind of like a, it's kind of really behind as far as the rest of the world. Like they, their industrial revolution happened like in the eight, 1860s and then pushed on really fast. So uh, it, it's definitely a good watch. The main character, he's named as a Batosai or whatever, which is like, a really good killer back in the day and he gave up killing people in the way of trying to save people but it's it's entertaining for the most part gotcha and then you said the the remake is pretty good yeah because if you look at the older version it's very hard to watch like R- runny runny kenshin it's uh definitely pretty good gives you a better background base too to the story That's cool. Maybe I'll check that out instead. If the if the older one's kind of hard to watch, which I understand. Yeah, I think the older one's made like in the nineties. I think so. Yeah. So you know how that artwork looks out. Like even like Yu Hakusho is one of the better ones. That and like Cowboy Bebop, and those still look 
really rough compared to now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, Yu Yu Hakusho is the oldest anime that I'm still totally, like, completely into. It does have some age on it, but it doesn't bother me. I mean, yeah. I don't blame you, though. It's a really good series. Very enjoyable. Oh, I was also, for any, for recommendations for any viewers out there who like magical girl shows, because we never identified any of those. Um, Sailor Moon, not that good. Uh, <laughs> no, the, uh, Isn't that the original? That is kind of. Um, depends on what you're looking at. It might be like the big OG original, but another older 90s original is Magic Knight's Ray Earth is also really enjoyable. That one only has three magical girls that you follow, and I watched that one. Not in entirety, but I've seen bits and pieces, and it's it's very enjoyable. It's got that 90s vibe. It's got a nice animation style to it. Very good, very enjoyable. That's all I'm going to leave it at. You just got to check it out yourself. That way we can cover our bases with the different types of anime out there. We well, didn't even do horror, then. There's horror ones. It's, uh, how, like... do you, how deep into horror are we trying to get? Because some get pretty extreme. Well, King's Game is pretty extreme. Monster is rated as like one of the worst, or well, not worst, but like darkest horror ones out there, like super intense. And that's what I heard. 90s, that's a top 10 2000s. series, though. Yeah, but that's like 90s, 2000s. It, you know, it's an OG, but it's you have to be ready for it, and you can't be ready for it. It's the people are like, you have to be ready for some real, real dark horror. Okay. Kaiju, Monster, like how. Kaiji is horror. Kaiji has some horror, not like monsters, but it's got some very dark horror elements to it. It goes into the depths of, it, it talks a lot about the depths of human deprivation and how sick people I mean, can get. Have you seen Devil Man Crybaby? That one was pretty dark. I've heard about that. I have not seen it. Mm -hmm. I have heard about it. Yeah, that one's extremely dark. I would not suggest people watching that one for sure. <laughs> Yeah, and I've, from what I've heard, monster is not your should not be your introduction to horror. It's something that if you really enjoy horror anime, then you get into and watch, because you can appreciate, for lack of a better word, like peak performance of just how bad it can get. Mm. Isn't, isn't it about a serial killer? Like a surgeon or something who starts killing people. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's like the easiest way to summarize it. Damn, I've been thinking about watching it. The same studio that did um, Death Note, I think, expected to be in that ballpark of fucked up. Death Note had good horror to it. Um, but no, Monster okay. takes it to a much deeper level. Same with um, IG and whatever the one you mentioned was, Brandon. Oh, King's Game? Yes. But yeah, Magic Knight Ray, Magic Knight Ray Earth is fun. It's got some. It's your typical anime girl mascot bouncing around, saying one word Pokemon style kind of stuff to it, but it still has some action scenes and all that. So it goes. It's your Isekai magical girl crossover. Yeah, right. I really haven't gotten to that. I really haven't gotten to that. Besides, was it? Uh... Madoka Magical Box. <laughs> I tried watching Madoka Magica when it first came out on Netflix. That was the slowest grind I've ever had through an anime. It took me four days to go through the first episode. I could only really? watch it's... it. At like, I could only watch it at like seven minute increments. It was just too much for me. It's so messed up, though. It is. But when it first came out, I was like, I have to stop. Like it's not even like I have other things to do. I just can't move on. I have to take a mental break from this. Something about it was exhausting to me. But that's how I remember Madoka Magica. And actually, is, is it Madoka Magica the, the creator of One Piece? I, I remember in an interview once, he said his daughter's favorite anime was Madoka Magica. <laughs> I think it was Madoka Magica. So it was some sort of anime like that. Gotcha. But uh, do you guys want to wrap this one up? Yeah, I think we've listed enough recommendations. All good there. Uh, 
Thank you, everybody, for attending and listening to another episode of Weeb Chronicles with the Unfiltered Pineapple Podcast. We got to share our nerdum and fandom interest. Hopefully, you find something out of the recommendations and conversations we had. Uh, say goodbye, gentlemen. Brandon Platypus, thanks for your input today. Yeah, we'll see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody. Remember to follow us on our socials and leave a comment below about your favorite recommendations and anime to keep up with. Thank you.